everyone, or should I say bonjour? Today uh -huh. we're in the mood for something French and something divine. As Steph tackles the art of choosing just the right wine for every occasion, while I visit a delightfully eclectic home with one-of-a-kind pieces and refurbished furniture. Our feast for the senses continues as we see Lady Scott Jones' latest collection inspired by the French countryside. Modern living just keeps on getting better, from living spaces to living life beyond its confines. This, this is, is your ultimate guide to modern living. Our next stop is a neo-French provincial styled home. Let's find out how we can achieve the look for less with the help of our guest expert, interior designer, Mike Suki. Hello guys, I'm Mike Suki. I am a licensed interior designer and I welcome to one of my favorite projects. The clients are my friends, they are high school friends. They bought this house and the first requirement that they asked me to do is to resolve the irregular shape of the house kasi medyo trapezoid siya. Uh, basically, we wanted na medyo squalado lahat yung, yung area natin. So, medyo challenging sa akin itong project na ito. So, in which what I did is nilagay ko lahat yung mga cabinets sa side nung kung saan naka-locate yung regular wall. And then sa ground floor, doon ko nilagay yung textured wall natin na bricks. Somehow, it will cover yung pinaka-irregular shape nung area. For most of his projects, Mike surveys his client's existing furniture to determine if there are certain pieces that can still be carried on to the new design. We refurbish yung mga lumang furniture nila Kasi mas may character yung interior ng bahay. Compared to a brand new house na brand new din ang mga furniture, nawawala yung character ng bahay is because masyado siyang customized. For this particular project, the owner's existing wooden chairs, tables, and cabinets have a certain style that captured the designer's eye. From the initial country motif that the owner suggested, Mike was able to convince his client to try the new French provincial look. I showed her the palette. Actually, she fell in love with it, even with the texture and the mood board. She was really excited. She's more excited than me. It's my first time to do this type of style. Contemporary siya. At the same time, it's a modern na Fre uh, French provincial na design. Good thing na lang na may yung mga style nila ng old furniture nila is more of like a French provincial na design. So it really helped me a lot by just changing or refurbishing yung finishes lang nila. Ang neo-French uh, look kasi is basically it's like a provincial design. Siyempre, with the twist of medyo ginawa ko na siyang contemporary ng itsura. Pag pumasok ka dito, it's like you are in a country, side ng bahay. Refreshing lahat yung palette natin, yung color, yung texture, even with the accessories. Ang mga theme na kinukuha natin is more of the leaves, butterflies, flowers. It reflects kung ano yung meron sa nature natin. Mike then takes us on a tour of the home's key areas, starting off with the master's bedroom. Actually, makapapansin nyo yun doon sa master bedroom, yung kanilang mga furniture, it's more of like mga white lang. Pero yung sa cabinet, kaya may mga groups siya doon. With the layout naman, nilagay ko siya sa isang side lahat, yung mga storage area nila. Kung makikita nyo yung buong wall, they have the free will to do anything with it. Kung pwede silang mag-adjust ng lalagyan ng sapatos, ng bags. Lighting for me is very, very crucial. Kung saan dapat lang ilawan, kung bubuksan ko lang yung mga accent lighting to make it uh, more of like a romantic space. Kung bubuksan ko yung general lighting for it to be more accommodating. Yung pagpili ng wallpaper is very also crucial kasi 
sometimes she really wanted to have this style pero hindi siya available. It just so happened siguro it really fell into in places na yung hinahanap ko na design para sa wallpaper which is medyo leafy na may konting florals available siya during that time. Now let's see the two beautiful rooms for the owner's daughters. With the two girls room, yung sa pink room, it's an old bed. Nagni-refurbish lang din namin. So ginawa namin siyang puti. And then she particularly asked na gusto daw niya ng chandelier. For the lavender room, basically it's a four-poster bed na meron siyang draperies para may feel of like a princess. And let's take a closer look at this beautiful home's living room. With this living room, ang challenge ko basically is to make it more spacious. I don't want it to be so crowded. Kaya yung mga ledges natin is an open shelves, wala siyang mga cover. And then para medyo may continuity yung design natin from the ground floor, yung kanyang wall is basically is a textured na brick na accent wall. Para pag binuksan mo din yung accent ng mga ilaw, it will enhance yung, yung mga textures. And finally, let's see how Mike designed the kitchen in neo-French provincial style. Yung kitchen kasi is designed to meet the requirement of the client. Meron tayong space na pwede silang dikita ng magnet, which is I colored it green to make it more refreshing. And then the dining set, which is the old furniture of a client. So, we refurbished lang namin siya, ginawa natin siyang white. And then, chandelier sa ibabaw, nagawa siya sa lapa. It's all about the details. Notice how simple changes such as a new palette and some refurbishing can totally change the look of a space. Proof that you don't have to spend so much to give your home an upgrade once in a while. A lot of people think of champagne as a celebration. We can never drink too much champagne. In, in wine in general, it's, there is always a fact that why are we going to buy wine? We're going to buy wine to go to a party. We're going to have wine to be with, with your loved one.